be a man. That's something I heard a lot growing up. Something I desperately wanted to prove to my father and to myself that I was capable of becoming. But what is a man? What makes a man? I mean, is it just a social construct or is there some sort of universal law out there that governs how a man should behave? As a kid, I was taught that men do not cry. Men do not share their feelings and men do not jabber their lips. I know how trite and cliche that sounds, but it's my truth. It's something I was taught to believe and something I, I wholeheartedly believed in. Um, by my late teens, I was fully invested in the idea of the stereotypical man, somebody who was strong, silent, and just not one to be fucked with. <laughs> um, I believed in it so much that I actually had a frozen heart tattooed on my chest, and I still have it. Yeah, I, I didn't get it tattooed on me because I thought I was a robot and incapable of feeling love. But I honestly thought it was that love and emotions was just wasn't something I could fully express like how so many of my friends could. I just never thought I could allow myself to do that. When I was 23, I deployed to Afghanistan. And my experiences there really made me question the notion of masculinity and just so many of my core values. It's funny how death could just make philosophers of us all. Um, we survived a lot of firefights and after each firefight, a lot of the guys would call home and tell their family members how much they loved them, how much they missed them. Every mission was a gamble whether we lived or died. But despite all that, I couldn't ever bring myself to call my family members and tell them that I loved them. And honestly, um, I thought I was tough. I, I feel such I feel like such an idiot saying that now, but I thought being able to restrain my heart and not calling home to tell my family that I love them made me stronger and made me sharper. So I never called. It wasn't until one day after we survived another firefight and I was sitting there behind my machine gun. I started pondering the notions of what really makes a man a man and I began to realize that I actually wasn't brave. I was really a coward. Uh, being honest with myself, I realized that I was always terrified of being vulnerable with my heart, even with my own family members. I found it incredibly odd how I could run into battle with bullets snapping over my head and just explosions going off all around me. But I was terrified to call home and tell my family members, my own parents, that I love them. I've jumped out of planes, I've ran with the bulls, I've gone bull riding, and I've even messed around with alligators. But telling another human being that I love them just terrified the shit out of me. As I record this message, the number of times I've actually told another person that I love them can be counted on one hand. And my dad isn't even one of them. I now understand that feelings don't make you any less of a man, but in actuality, a better one. The ideas and values I had as a kid are still deeply ingrained in me, and it's gonna take a lot of time to undo um, those mental grooves and old habits that I have. But I'm a patient man, <laughs> or at least I am reasonably patient, and one day, I'll be a better one. So, if you ask me today what I think makes a man a man, I'd say a part of being a man is the capacity to love. Uh, but more importantly, it's the ability to express your love to those who matter to you, the ones who are most important to you in your life. So, be a man. I love you. I love you. And does it give you a hug? Real quick? Okay. Okay, let me. Alright. Alright. Okay. That's right. I just wanted to say that I love you. <laughs> Thank you. I love you too. Alright. So how you hug is you use two arms, you just do this. <laughs> <laughs>
Man, this is, this is so much easier for everyone else to say it. Very awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Hey. Hey, sorry for calling so late at night. No I just wanted to call and say that I love you. Uh, me too. <laughs> okay. What's up? What are you doing? Hey. Just wanted to call you and tell you that I love you. Okay. <laughs> are you drunk? No. I'm not trying to scare you. Okay. Alright, this isn't a trick. I love you. Okay. Alright, I love you too. Alright, love you. Bye. Bye. Four, two, zero, three is not available. At the tone, please record your message. Hey Linda, uh, I figured you'd be at work right now, but I just wanted to see if I could catch you. Um, just wanted to say I love you. Hope you have a great morning, now that you're getting off your shift, by the time you hear this. Alright, bye. That felt nice. Mm-hmm. <laughs>